You know, usually for videos like this, I'm a lot more excited. Especially because we're coming straight off of a different rank of video to jump into this rank of video. Back to back, baby, yeah, but I'm not T. Because, you know, out of all five positions, power forwards are probably the most boring. And the whole point is to focus on excitement. Their best player's nickname is Mr. Fundamental. And then there's the weirdo power. I mean, power forwards. All I'm saying is it doesn't look too hot, you know, face value. But fuck it, bro. This is where legends are born. You got to get through what you could get through. And it's not all bad and shit. You know what? Well, let's tee this video up. I can't believe y'all came in here thinking it was going to be boring just because it's power forwards, nigga. Get your, get your head out your ass, kid. This is a tray video. We get things teed. But yeah, man, we almost done with the series. We got the power forwards up next. And you already know from tons and tons of context clues. We're doing a little bit of ranking with them, man. We're ranking based off how exciting they play. The all-time ones. So yeah, if you've missed all the other ones, bro, go check them out. Point guard through small forward. They're good vids, bro. You have my word. But for right now, we about to focus on a four. In front of you lays 20 all-time power forwards. These guys are the best of the best. And yeah, we gonna rank them based off how exciting they play that's pretty much it there's no catch there's nothing extra nothing like that but i did ask you guys a question last video this one was so simple that it was complex why not gonna lie i panicked did not know what question i wanted to put so i just asked why and easily the best one is because i live in alabama it's legal that's sick as fuck but it, it is funny i can't lie next question down below you know what i'm saying going what going do what <laughs> Humor me! Anyway, we might as well not waste no more time, bro. Y'all know how these rankings work. S is the best of the best. The most exciting of the excitement. And F is the worst of the worst. The boring of the most boring. But we're gonna start off right with Giannis Antetokounmpo. It's not a lot I could say that y'all already don't know. Dude is a highlight reel. And what they call a fierce competitor. It's no question that Giannis is extremely exciting to watch. For the ones who are thinking, all he does is run and dunk the ball. Honestly, you're not fully wrong he does run and dunk the ball a lot but those running dunks be looking crazy sometimes but yeah with that plus how he be so into the game celebrating this shit bro that's an s tier next we got tim duncan literally known for not being excited it's kind of his thing which i mean for the most part yeah i'd say he's not the most exciting player but because he's actually tough as fuck, he'll end up doing some random exciting shit sometimes some shit that make you be like bro that was tim duncan i didn't know tim duncan was dunking like that you know you get your little rare occurrences but overall i would and say Tim Duncan is super exciting C tier. Best power forward of all time though don't get it twisted. Christopher Bosh the nigga who looks like a Raptor in a Raptors jersey. Yeah I'm not talking about the Miami Heat one. We going back to unicorn Chris Bosh. I know Chris Bosh was way tougher on the Raptors than the Heat but I never for real for real tuned into his highlights like I seen him but you know I haven't seen him seen him. But now that I'm watching him watching him I'm not like Super excited, excited. Yeah, this isn't super eye-catching. Just kind of looks like a stretch for it. Yeah, I'ma go E-tier. Zion Williamson, the big boy. Let me stop being nice. The biggest boy. Yeah, nigga, you're large, but you can jump and shit. Definitely one of the most exciting players I've ever seen in my life. And I'm not just talking about the NBA when I'm saying that. Not only is he super athletic, he's super crafty. Like, you're bound to see some wild shit in one of the seven games he plays a year. So yeah, this is a no-brainer for me. Zion is definitely S. <laughs> Draymond Green. We don't gotta beat around the bush, bro. I don't like this nigga. But you know, I won't let bias cloud my judgment for this ranking. I'll be fair and just let his game talk. And it's it's talking some shit, some poop. This shit not exciting, bro. Don't care. I think it's I think it's pretty fun when he starts screaming at people. But like actually playing basketball, no, that's that's F tier, bro. I'm sorry. P U Lamar Odom. I honestly mainly know bro for his oh off the court God. issues. <laughs> Never sat down and watched some Lamar Odom highlights, but my nigga. Why is this dude actually really tough? I don't know what I was expecting, bro, but this is a pleasant surprise. I didn't realize he was moving like this. These are not ordinary highlights. Definitely exciting. Honestly, could be considered for A tier, but I'm going to put him in B for right now. Depending on how things are looking, I might change it. I don't know. Next up to the stand is Blake Griffin. This is another one of those no-brainers, one of the more exciting players of all time. Damn near every game, he's catching a body. And it's nasty. And people forget, Blake wasn't just a dunker. That nigga could actually get a bucket. What y'all know about Pistons, Blake? Blake Griffin giving out 50 balls. But like I said, yeah, this is a no-brainer. Blake Griffin is an easy S tier when it comes to excitement. Next in line, we got Carl Malone. You know, decently excited. You thought I was actually about to give this weirdo praise? No, 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 no. F 
that, I'm putting him in prison. And like you're watching Netflix, I got 13 reasons why. Yeah, fuck that, dude. I only put him in the video so I could put him in the prison. <laughs> if the system won't do it, then I will, God damn it. KG Kevin Garnett. A few months ago, one of my homies told me to go watch his highlights. And I didn't understand why, because I knew who he was. I know how he plays. But then I watched and realized I thought I knew who he was and how he plays. In his highlights, he looked like Jordan mixed with KD, bro. It's shit is crazy. On top of the fact he's out there fucking them boys up, you add Kevin Garnett's personality, his hypeness, his shit talking. I got nowhere else to put him but S tier. I could watch his highlights all day. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley highlights. I mean, I get it. Dude was tough. Dude was tough. People be comparing him to Zion because they're both fat, undersized, and can jump. But he's nowhere near as exciting. Literally a post up 6'4 guy. It's rare I'm about to jump out of my seats looking at Charles Barkley highlights. Sorry, bro. I got to put him in D. Sean Kent. One of the best old head highlight reels. He is definitely up there. Not only was dude dunking on niggas, bro, he was being disrespectful. Like, it probably already doesn't feel great to be put on your ass, but then to get pointed at by the nigga who did it, nigga teammates didn't even want to help him out. I'ma put Sean Kemp in A tier. I don't think he's far from S though. Kevin Love, but on the Timberwolves. Nothing super exciting, super crazy for real. He could hoop and shit. He got some game winners. But, you know, this isn't shit for real. I would say it's a little bit more exciting than Chris Bosh, but less exciting than Tim Duncan. So yeah, that's a calm little D tier. Next up, we got Josh Smith. What y'all know about Josh Smith? This dude's bounce is crazy. Like, I go lie, bro. If you squint and watch his highlights, it damn near look like LeBron. Headband, Tomahawk, and all. He's got be one of the most athletic power forwards ever. Very fun to watch. Definitely one of those guys who's up there on the rankings. I'm stuck between A or S, but I think I'm gonna go A. I don't think he got that S tier edge, but you know, he's definitely worth talking about. LaMarcus Aldridge is boring as hell to watch. He's tough, you know, great post up player, whatever. Mid range, uh, king, beast. You know, the usual. But let's be real, you're not spilling popcorn over LaMarcus Aldridge. Like I said, he's nice, Blazer and Spurs fans. Relax, I'm saying he's tough. But I'm not like, you know, motherfucking kicking my feet up watching his highlights. Now, you can do that shit, but I would rather spend my time differently. So yeah, he's going to um E tier. Chris Webber. He also isn't all that exciting. Just a good traditional big man. You know, power dribbles. Posting up, dunking the ball. Not boring, but not too exciting. I'd put him with Chuck and K-Love. Ad break, but it's not YouTube. It's me too telling you that we stream every Friday. Or at least try to, bro. I don't know what's been going on. The shit been lagging, but we it, everything will be under control if you show up. We talk basketball, music, all that good stuff, bro. We do competitions, you know what I'm saying? Just show up. You won't regret it. I promise that we're back to the vid. Pau Gasol, one of the most likable players to me of all time. Hard working, very emotional. You could tell he's into the game. Just got that winning, fighting spirit. He's somewhat fun to watch. You know, he's not Blake Griffin. And I mean, shit. He knows better than anybody that he is not Blake Griffin. But you know, he be getting flashy and shit. I could somewhat rock with it enough to get him into like C tier. Omari Stoudemire, another one of the athletic fours. If you're in the hole and he's coming, he's gonna punch it. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, that one was 110% planned. But yeah, he's a highlight reel, pretty exciting. I wouldn't say as much as Sean Kemp or Josh Smith in A tier, but I could put him in B with Lamar Odom. Yeah, that's something I could get behind. Pause. I, I am gonna have to relax. That's like two under 30 seconds. Need to chill out, bro. This is not a world record I want to hold. Next up, we got that boy, Dirk. Dirk is actually pretty exciting for somebody who's unathletic. Mainly to me because of his celebrations. Them shits be so hard. He makes some difficult shots and stuff. Great player and all that. You already know that. But to me, it's nothing like super duper crazy. He's exciting, but relative to the rest of the list, I'd put him in C. Second to last, we got Anthony Davis. AD is definitely a very excited player to watch when there's something to watch. But I'll give him his flowers, bro. He was not hurt during them playoffs. I like his intensity a lot again when he's being intense you know what just to put an asterisk on it, i'm talking about anthony davis when he actually feels like playing basketball otherwise you could keep him i don't want to see that shit but when he's actually hooping he's tough a force to be reckoned with but yeah healthy ad to me is a tier i wouldn't say s he's not exciting as the people in s tier to me but you know he could get a and lastly it's only right to end off with dennis rodman who i'm sure had to be one of the most exciting players to watch back then his personality alone the way he would get into it with players the antics on the court and then when the game was actually going on he's out there diving for every single ball plus all the weird crazy ass shit he would do off the court bro exciting has to be one of the best words to describe dennis
Dennis Rodman. So, hey, I ain't gonna lie, I got him in S. He's just a different breed. You're never gonna see him again. And yeah, that's the ranking, bro. As always, let me know what y'all think, what you agree with, what you disagree with. This series is almost over, so let me know what, you know what I'm saying, new ideas you wanna see. And remember to turn on notice and tune into the streams. Tune into the streams, I'm way to win the green. I'm in love with Rex. I'm a real fiend, this is not an act. Kill the beat, loop it, then I bring it back. Pockets bent on slack. Losing all your money, if you bet, I like double enough to get back. Don't get no fuck talk about you from the motherfucker trap. I done seen a few traps with them rats. Everyone thought I was making no money, but I let them know you cannot see this cash. I let them know you can't hop in the jet. I won't let them know that they're not gonna blow up from their music. That shit ass. Seriously, that shit trash. Seriously, I'm a hip hop attack. My bank account look like a shopping bag. My bank